I start off a little tune on a recorded by uh, Tony Joe White and Mr. Gene Watson on CBS Records, were, uh, produced by Mr. Billy Sherrill. On Nobody's Baby Tonight, goes like this.
and George Jackson were both uh, signed at Fame Studios and staff writers for quite a while. We wrote a lot of songs together, had a bunch of hits together. George is down in Jackson, Mississippi now, right from Malico. But I got two or three tunes that we always really loved and, and had a good time writing. And, uh, this tune was recorded by Clarence Carter and several other artists, but Clarence had the biggest record on it. It was an R&B hit for us. Uh, Rick Hall produced it over at Fame Studios. It's called The Feeling is Right and the Time is Right Now.
She's a keeper. She keeps me in the middle when I'm leaning toward the edge. She's my keeper. She keeps me honest when I begin to hedge. She keeps wanting me to stay each time I have to go and then. a light on for me so I can stumble in She's a keeper She keeps coming up with answers when there's nothing in the bank She's a keeper She can make a home from nothing She's the one I have She keeps fighting all my battles when they get me on the ground. And as long as she will have me, I'll be keeping her around. Cause Lord, she's a keeper. She knows in spite of everything, sometimes I'm just a child. And still she goes on loving me. She goes at it. To be the very best She keeps looking on my good side And she overlooks the rest She's a keeper of my castle She's a gentle work of art And as long as she keeps keeping on She's the keeper of my heart Just ain't making it, man. One left. He can't get it together. Ain't nothing going right. You know the story. Yeah, it's uh, actually I wrote about you. Yeah, you're probably the only guy I know that this ever happened to. Yeah. None of this ever happened to me. That's for sure. Man. I mean, you know, I've, I've been clean living all my life.
Thank you. But he's working on it anyway. It's called Take Me Back. This was uh, this was written uh, when I was writing uh, as a staff writer for Muscle Show Sound Studios. And uh, Levon Hill really loved this song. He almost cut it. I wish he had, but he did another one. Man, he made so. As long as I got one out of the deal, I can't complain. But it sounds like him if you think about it.
It's been played over a million times on radio. So. And that's been a long time ago. So. Anyway, this song's been very good to me. And uh, Sammy did a wonderful job on it. Jenny did too. And uh, Both on CBS Records, and I appreciate it. I like to play it for you. It's called Tell Me a Lie. Job, please. 
that last weekend And your friends are precious few Somebody left you hanging And you ain't even got a clue Most everybody that I'm And they always come in twos But it's sure one thing about them That the blues ain't black, they're blue It don't matter if you're rich or poor Something you should know They'll find your crowds behind your door Cause the blues nowhere to go Anytime you're feeling down Like some worn out shoe Just get on up and think about The simple point of view Ain't nothing easy in this world
I'll take the tonic, you take the third. That's the sweetest sound I've ever heard. And we'll play on fast, we'll play on slow, we'll play till there's nothing left to blow. Then we'll break it down and pack it up again Till next time My daddy was a player but I never knew the songs he played or the towns he Sometimes I can hear a sound I know it's him just coming round To play along And I sing my song Come on, Dad, let's play a tune We'll get high out of Memphis Moon I'll take the tonic, you take the third That's the sweetest sound Then we'll break it down and pack it up again Till that next time mm -hmm.
dear friend, Mr. Mickey Newberry. He was a great, great songwriter. One of those guys you couldn't pigeonhole. Nobody knew what to do with him. Too pop for country, too country for pop. Well, he just went on and showed them all and did what he does, which is turn into one of the greatest singer, songwriter, whispers in the whole world. We lost him two years ago. And I had the privilege of seeing him do his last public concert. Matter of fact, it was at the floor of Bama, down on the coast. And when I saw him, it just broke my heart, man. And I watched the show, I got up, when it was over, I went up and talked to him, and we shook hands and shot the bull for a little while, and he was signing autographs. And so I went on about my way. He'd said that the doctor had told him that was it, man. He had to quit. He couldn't breathe. He had an oxygen tank sitting there by him when he was doing this show, which I couldn't believe because he still was singing his butt off. And uh, went back to the hotel, and it just moved me so much, man. I, I wrote this tune, and uh, I had it finished by daylight. And uh, it's a little thing called All My Heroes, and this is for Mickey.
Well, George and I were killed, but as things turned out, Rick got to Osmond's and cut the record, and the thing came out. It was a, it was their biggest single right after One Bad Apple. It was their second single. It was a huge pop hit, and uh, so you know, I was very happy about that anyway, and George was too. So I'm going to try to play it for you. It's called Double Loving.
too short when I first met you, baby. From our own east door to you, I came along and I plowed a little. Storm and but truly, I brought you through. Now he's back to rekindle that old flame. He's got a different angle, baby. Let our spirits 
Thank you very much for having me.